guys welcome back to my channel um today is a rather dull day it's raining like super crazy outside um it's the end of monsoons i guess that's why it's just crying out its last bit and i'm shifting so all of that um cartons out there i'm moving out like you guys know i've mentioned this a zillion times if you're not following me on snapchat or instagram i'll put the links below or on the screen somewhere so you can follow me um so it's been quite difficult. I have packed up all my makeup. I packed up basically everything. This is the only thing I have left. So you'll probably see this in two, three other videos because I'm planning to film till I step foot out of this house because I'm not gonna stop, honey. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. I really wanna shoot until I get, the, get my ass out of here. But until then, I've got some makeup <laughs> um, sent by pack and I'm gonna use the eyeshadow palettes because I literally packed all my eyeshadow palettes and left the Maybelline nudes palette out just in case I felt like filming um, I'm gonna jump right into moisturizer I'm using the Saint Ives moisturizer this is what I've left out out of all my other moisturizers and it's one of my favorites you guys know and yeah so I'm gonna use that on my face I haven't done a chatty makeup tutorial in a while so I'm guessing this is gonna be a long video. I have a lot of video ideas in my head, but like I said, the shift and the moving is making it really difficult to execute them. But I'm gonna be out before the end of the week. Like on Sunday, I'm gonna be moved out into my new house. And after that, it's gonna be sorted. Like I'm gonna set my beauty section in my room. This is not the best makeup storage. Um, that I have put in place I'm gonna go to my new house and I'm gonna make it really beautifully so you guys can see and also take you on a room tour and house tour as well so if you just give me a few weeks I'll be able to do that for you I forgot to dampen my booty blender so I just put on some more I haven't worn makeup in a week I think yeah so my skin's feeling pretty I don't know good but it's craving makeup a lot. So it's 11 30 in the morning currently and I want to plan on shooting two videos today because I just feel like it um, and usually a lot of taping and stuff happens during the move you guys know how it is so yeah I want to finish off shooting before that uh, I'm gonna use foundation my Mac Studio Fix fluid foundation and I'm going to mix the L'Oreal true match um, foundation in golden beige and this is an NC 35 I'm gonna mix the two this is a bit on the more nude side and this is a bit on the yellow side but they both match my skin beautifully individually but I'm gonna mix them um, just for full coverage you guys know how much I'm all about the full coverage um, also I'm so I thought about what I wanted to do for a makeup look today and I suddenly oh I forgot primer <gasps> So I forgot primer, I'm using the NYX Pore Filler Primer, damn it. This has such a weird consistency for some reason. I don't know if I got the wrong package or what, but yeah. I'm just gonna put that on my nose area because I've just been, I think when I put this around my nose and cheek area, it completely fills up the pores. Though I don't have that many pores, it just gives a nice, you know, mattifying effect. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with the foundation that I put. I'm using the NYX 04. This is a stippling brush. And I'm just gonna stipple that. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the Pack Beauty Blender. This is a really nice soft brush. Very good for every day um, if you ha don't have time to use a beauty blender because beauty blenders take time, you know, to buff it out into the skin and stuff like that. But I'm just gonna roughly place it everywhere I'm not doing um, a full cakey face as such I'm just gonna use very little foundation today I'm trying what I had in mind when I saw my new eyeshadow palette which I'm gonna show you in a bit I had these um, New York Fashion Week inspiration like I was just going through the paper and online as well and I saw what's in so basically there's bold lip like you saw in the intro like you saw at the title of this video it's a bold lip with just bronzy eyeshadow and lashes there's no you know falsies there's no um, liner or kajal or anything of that sort really fresh skin 
skin with bold lips and just fresh eyes so I wanted to do that for you and show you how you can get a really simple makeup look and you know it's not that difficult basically I'm just gonna go around my nose area because I don't know it's a little bit red so this move has been I don't know it's really emotional for me I love my room so much but I mean new beginnings right you never know okay so let's conceal them bad boys okay I searched for a good 10 minutes and I cannot find my concealer brush so I'm just gonna use this flat foundation brush from I'm sounding really sad because I cannot find it it's a new brush I'm taking my MAC concealer I've still not run out of this can you believe it I don't even know when I got it I just after getting that brush um, the NYX brush I'm sure you guys must have seen my concealer brush in the last video I'm just not used to using my fingers anymore I just I got so comfortable using the brush and now it's really annoying that I cannot find it I just have to use my finger man this is just crazy I think I must have dropped it somewhere I hope I didn't throw it out or anything gosh I'm just gonna set my eyelids and prep it for eyeshadow Okay, I've concealed my eyes. I'm just going in with Maybelline Fit Me a little bit to brighten up this area. And yep, the regular, just the regular spots. You guys know the drill. And I'm taking my damp back beauty blender. This beauty blender is life. This, nothing has happened to it. I've been using this, how long now? Like a month and a half? Nothing has happened to this. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, Back makes some good makeup products, like not even kidding. No, I'm not sponsored uh, by Pack. I wish, but I genuinely love their products, I genuinely do. Such good quality and so inexpensive, that's what I love, it's very approachable. Like people can just buy it with a drop of a hat, they don't have to think about, you know, burning their pockets or anything, that's what I love about Pack as well. It's accessible to everyone. So now that I conceal my eyes, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I'm going to bake my under eye just a little bit. My god, it's getting so dark outside, it's crazy. I don't like it, I really love the sun. I know you guys are like, she's crazy. I'm taking my NYX HD finishing powder and I'm just gonna set my T-zone. This is in the brush 01. So on the runway they had really um, fresh plain skin, just a little bit of blush, slight contour or even like nothing on their face that's how it was this time but I'm gonna do a little bit of rosy cheek just cause and Yep. Okay, for my brows, I'm using Bang & Brunette. You guys know the drill. I'm taking this Pro Art 42 to comb my brows. And I took this new brush by NYX in number 19. It's an angle brush. We'll see, I'm using it for the first time. I don't know what's up today. It's dark and it's hot. So weird. So freaking weird. This brush is really thick, actually. I don't know. I just got my brows done yesterday. Really not my favorite brush. Mm. I just can't find my other brush. I don't know what happened. Where did it go? I hope, I really hope I didn't throw them out because you know when you're packing you're just so crazy. I think it's got lost somewhere in my makeup suitcase. Like my makeup took two suitcases I think. One and two, yeah, with hair products and stuff. And I've left a few makeup. That's going to be my other bag because 
I need some makeup, you know. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I should give it some time. I should give it a chance. Malvika. Sorry guys, too quick to judge. Too quick to judge. I think this is a really cool brush. It's pretty darn easy. I'm gonna take my spoolie and I'm just going to um, blend it really nicely. Wow, my brows are looking really good today. So let me talk to you guys about the pack um, eyeshadows. I just got a big box of their goodies, which is so good. I felt really happy. So thank you, Pack Cosmetics. Um, they sent me 42 eyeshadows. Like these are individual eyeshadow. Oops. These are individual eyeshadow pans. And this is the Z palette that they send along with it. I think this is the large one. I'm not sure. I will link all the prices down below and where you can get them. You get them on Amazon.com. I will uh, link it down. Amazon.in, sorry. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, I did a whole swatching video of this and beautiful. The color payoff of these are to die. You know, these shades are almost similar, but they are still different from each other. I'm gonna come and show you a close up. So, I love oh, the payoff is beautiful. Now, each pan comes for about 250 rupees to 350, it depends. Uh, that's the price range. Can you imagine? That's the price range of these beautiful shadows, and they're so pigmented. And they have another side as well if you flip it over i'm sorry about the ring light thing so if you flip it over oh so if you flip it over they have another side as well i put bright shadows here they're nice purple and blue the pigment guys i want to swatch one right now i'm gonna swatch this oh can you, do you can you even can you even these are so beautiful and they're all shimmer shadows um, so I cannot wait to play with these I will link everything down below so you can purchase it so inexpensive amazing for the color payoff and the quality and the pigmentation is just to die for so I'm going to use some of these eyeshadows today since we're doing the runway um, look that's in and I don't want to go too heavy so I'm just going to pick out um, a bronze shade because this is what I've seen on most um, of the models I think I'm gonna the color that's most attracting it's really difficult to pick by the way but the most uh, that's attracting me is this color right here so I'm gonna take this color and this one and probably this one these two and I'm just going to you know see how it goes okay I'm taking my pack 310 brush this is a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm taking this color right here, this one. It's a beautiful bronze shade. So I'm just gonna apply it on my eyelid. Oh, sweet. I took very little product though. Take a lot. I think I'm gonna spritz some, spritz my brush with Fix Plus. So I'm just going to take a little Fix Plus on it and dab the shadow. Now I think the color is going to come through. What did I tell you? Beautiful. Now the color is coming through. So if your eyeshadow has beautiful pigment on your finger and you cannot get it through the brush, spritz some Fix Plus or eye drops or water, whatever you want, and it's going to, you know, show the color through. So I'm just going to put this on my entire lid. So you don't have to be really clean with this. I'm sort of going for a very grungy, sort of a bronze look. This is more of a light um, rose gold. Just a beautiful color, man. It's so pretty. So I'm just going all around. I'm not really going in a particular fashion. I'm just pressing the pigment onto my lid very rough, in a very rough manner. So I'm using PP26. I'm going to link it down below as well. So I'm just going to pat it onto my skin roughly. Since your eyeshadow brush is a little damp, it's not going to have any fallout. 
so go crazy this is my own creation of the runway look I'm not copying a particular look as such so I'm just you know winging it I'm gonna take my pro art brush into 19e again a flat foundation a flat eyeshadow brush I'm gonna use a darker bronze color yeah I think I'm gonna go with this color right here I'm going to link I'm so scared of my nails they dig into the eyeshadow and they sort of have a dent so I'm going in with this color I'm gonna tell you what it is get it nice and damp and I'm just going to place it on the outer corner again in a very messy fashion You know the whole grungy, are you feeling me? The whole metallic vibe. I'm going a little bit over the lid as well. Just a gradient effect. So I'm going to take my blending brush. This is from NYX. It's in the number 17. And I'm just going to blend these eyeshadows out very smoothly. So you want to take your time blending because I want it to be very light on my eyes. I don't want it to be as harsh. So I'm going to keep blending and blending. That is your trick. So it's a very um, rough finish. It's not, you know, I'm not getting into an, you know, an angle or anything of that sort. I'm just, I just placed my eyeshadows. I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just going over in windscreen wipe motions and circular motions as well. And just flick it out like that. Just flick it up and out. You want to get it all over. I've just been into these runway looks lately. And I'm just like, they look so good. It's like this whole messy eye look. And it looks really beautiful. By the way, amazingly blendable eyeshadows. Really good. Some shimmer eyeshadows are really um, streaky and difficult to blend. But these blend like a dream. Oh my god, so good. So you want to go over it and blend both the colors together. Get a really nice finish. This is my, I'm just going to put on some mascara. I'm going to put nothing on the bottom, um, my lower lash line at all. Like I said before, um, they don't do much to their eyes. And yep, so let's get to mascara. So you want to coat each of your lashes really carefully. Since you're not putting falsies or going on your lower lash line, you want to make sure your lashes stand out at least a little bit. So you can just take your wand and just go all over. So that's it for the eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and contour my nose. I'm using this MAC Matte Bronze in Bronzing Powder. It's just called Bronzing Powder. Weird enough. And I'm just going to run that really lightly over my nose. No heavy contour as well, just to give a little definition. I'm going to take some uh, of the same contour powder and I'm just going to very lightly contour. You wouldn't even know that I've contoured my cheek. Just again, I said for a little definition, that's all. Now, I don't have crazy cheekbones like a supermodel, but you know, we got to work with what you got. A really nice round face. <laughs> just a tad bit on the forehead. Just th that's it. Moving on to blush, I packed all my blushes away and I just kept NYX Pink the Town because I love this blush, you guys know. I'm using the Sephora brush 55, it's a blush brush and I'm just going to, we're going to go a little bit um, rosy on the cheeks. I'm going to take my um, Champagne Pop by Becca cosmetics and I'm just going to dust this on top you want to make sure you're blending it into the skin really nicely just a very beautiful fresh look
I'm gonna use this lip liner by Maybelline. It's Midnight Plum. And we're gonna go really bold on the lips because our eyes are so simple. So now that I've lined my lips, I'm going to use the Colourpop in RNB. It's a beautiful plum mauve shade. So I'm going to finish off using my Fix Plus. Um, now for the hair, I want to do something different. Be right back. So for my hairstyle, I just wet my hair a little bit and put a little hairspray and I just put this hairband up like that. So I'm just, I just let it sit for like five minutes. Just gonna pull it back like that. Okay, so this is the best I could get. Like I said, mid-length hair and my hair is cut in layers, so my hair keeps twisting around. But you want to basically take water and just basically wet your hair and put some hairspray, hair gel and just push it back with your finger and give it some volume um, and set it with hairspray. So yeah, this is the final result. I just put a little bit more highlighter because I thought since I'm wetting my hair, I just want it to look more glossy. So I just put a little bit more highlighter. And yep, yeah, I think I love this look. I think it's so simple, so beautiful. Um, I'm gonna do this on one of my nights. I have never, ever worn purple lipstick or dark lipstick like this anywhere apart from my tutorials. Can you believe that? I just stick to nudes because I love nudes and pinks. So I'm definitely gonna wear this and you guys are gonna know exactly how to do this look as well. So yep. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel down there. All my social media links are in the description box. All the products that I mentioned and used today are in the description box. I will leave links of the pack cosmetic um, Z palette and the eyeshadows as well. So you can go check it out. And yeah, I love you guys so very much. Thank you for supporting me through all of this madness happening behind me. And I will be back in a new setting very soon. I'm super excited for that. I love you guys so very much much and I will see you in my next video.